The risk of airway complications in patients undergoing advanced endoscopic procedures such as ERCP and EUS is believed to be higher than standard endoscopy due to longer procedure times and deeper levels of sedation. Our group has previously shown a correlation between BMI and increased frequency of airway manipulation during advanced endoscopic procedures. In clinical practice, a majority of patients with obstructive sleep apnea remain undiagnosed. Among patients undergoing advanced endoscopic procedures, such as ERCP and EUS, unrecognized obstructive sleep apnea is likely to be a predictor of sedation-related complications, particularly the need for airway maneuvers. The objective of the study was to use StopBank, an obstructive sleep apnea screening tool, to do the following. Firstly, to determine the presence of obstructive sleep apnea using StopBank in patients undergoing advanced endoscopic procedures. Secondly, to determine the frequency of sedation-related complications in patients at risk for obstructive sleep apnea. And finally, to compare the rate of airway maneuvers between patients at risk and not at risk for obstructive sleep apnea. The components of stop bank include snoring, feeling tired or sleepy during daytime, witnessed apnea during sleep, treatment for high blood pressure, BMI more than 35, age over 50 years, neck circumference greater than 15.75 inches, and male gender. A score of three or higher is indicative of high risk for obstructive sleep apnea. Previous studies have reported a predictive value of 81% for a positive score on the stop bank questionnaire. The majority of stop bank positive patients in our cohort were likely to have had a positive polysomnography or sleep study. Many patients undergoing ERCP and EUS were enrolled. Propofol based sedation and patient monitoring were performed by a certified registered nurse anesthetist under the direction of an anesthesiologist. A previously validated screening tool, Stop Bang, was completed prior to endoscopy to assess obstructive sleep apnea. Airway maneuvers were defined as a chin lift, modified mask ventilation, nasal airway, bag mask ventilation, or endotracheal intubation. We report the rate of sedation-related complications defined as any duration of pulse oximetry less than 90%, our systolic blood pressures less than 90 millimeters of mercury, the need for one or more airway modifications, or premature termination of the procedure, univariate and multivariate analysis for predictors of airway maneuvers are presented as odds ratios with 95% confidence. 231 patients were enrolled. 176 patients undergoing ERCP and 55 patients undergoing endoscopic ultrasound. The prevalence of obstructive sleep apnea based on stop bank was 43.3%. The frequency of hypoxemia was significantly higher in the obstructive sleep apnea positive patients, 12%, versus the obstructive sleep apnea negative patients, 5.2%. The rate of airway maneuvers was significantly higher among obstructive sleep apnea patients, 20%, compared to obstructive sleep apnea negative patients, 6.1%. These rates remain significant after adjusting for ASA class 3 or higher. The strongest independent predictor of airway modifications in stop bank was a history of witnessed apnea while sleeping. In conclusion, obesity is a medical problem of epidemic proportions in the USA. With increasing rates of obesity, the frequency of undetected obstructive sleep apnea is expected to rise. In our cohort of patients referred for advanced endoscopic procedures, a positive stop bank score was present in 43.3% of patients. Patients with a positive stop bank required more airway maneuvers and had more frequent airway related complications, including hypoxemia and apnea. In our cohort, 20% of stop bank positive patients required at least one airway maneuver compared to 6% in the stop bank negative group. Stop bank is an easy bedside screening tool which can assist in identifying patients at risk for airway maneuvers and sedation related complications. Risk stratification prior to sedation for endoscopic procedures is crucial to patient safety.